everyone, this is my walkthrough on Paper Mario. We're in Chapter 2, The Mystery of Dry Dry Ruins, and what the hell is Sheik doing up here? My nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. Oh, he's in Nomadi Mouse. Well done. I'm Mustafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. Oh, that makes sense. It feels good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Stop tripping around. Your name is Mario, yes? I heard that you want to go to the Dry Dry Ruins. I have a feeling that you are on an important journey, so I will tell you the secret. The Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out there from ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one this secret. Alright, fine. I'll give you this. We got the Pulse Stone, which is actually going to be really useful for us finding it. The Pulse Stone is the key for the fighting Dry Dry Ruins. Take it to the desert. Yes? The Pulse Stone will flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Very nice! Pl find the place the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest and place the stone that way. So we gotta go find where the Pulse Stone leads us. Alright, so let's journey out to the desert! Yay! Hey, wait, wait a minute. If he was supposed to keep evil folk out of there, then how did Bowser get in there? And put the Star Spirit there. Maybe I, maybe he had someone else do it. You know. Alright, now there are a lot of ways to get here. Um, I'm just gonna go away that I know. Ah! And it... Oh, this is just a good time to show you how well I am. Um... First off, by the way, if you're... First off, if you really are wanting to get star points, if you find groups of bandits like these, it would be a really good idea to fight them, because look at this. They give you... They give you actually a lot of star points. And there's the timing for this. I just want to show people that now I actually know the timing. I'm not a total tard. It takes me... Oh! It takes me a while to um, get it right back. And yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I screamed there. It scared me there for a second. Bing! Freeze frame! Aw. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, no, someone say. I sure really don't watch The Simpsons that much. I don't know. I don't know really why I don't. This is just something I always do. I'm weird like that. Win! Ha ha! Yeah, these guys aren't really that hard to take care of now. And now, Cooper. Your mom! There we go. And we're done. Actually, I shouldn't say that here. That's something I say when I'm playing Pokemon. I guess I will try to do a walkthrough of cancer as soon as I possibly can. Ooh, yay! The curse is working! I mean, the... I get the spell. Not the curse. Curse is bad. Spell is good. That is a lot of coins! God damn. Ah! Okay, there we go. Alright, let's just continue through this desert. Ooh, there's a pull stone. Ah! All right, four star points, that's not much. Now we have 64 star uh, points. That's funny. Ah! Get away from me. I'm not going to fight anymore. Okay, I can hear it start to blink. Ah, get away from me, Pokey! Ugh. All right, that didn't take that long. As you can see, the sunstone is pulsing a lot faster. Alright, I know this takes a long time, but if you just keep going up and left, you'll eventually reach it. I think we're close. Yeah, when you when you can no longer go up, just keep going to the left and you'll eventually reach it. We should be here. Yeah, this is it! Alright, let's place the pull stone right here. And here's one of the coolest scenes in the game. It all of a sudden became really dark all of a sudden. Kind of weird, right? I must admit, for an N64, this is badass. The outside kind of reminds me of Haunted Tomb from uh, Spyro 3. And they're wondering what the hell it is. Da, 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 da. Well. It turns out that Colorado couldn't find this place, but we did. Just just shows how awesome we are. Purple! 
think I'll happen to the music. Uh, by the way, if you go in and come back out, it'll be daytime again, but I'm not gonna do that. Why? I'm the huge, scary Tutan Koopa, remorseless king of the desert. Who dares set foot in this, my pals of the sa sands? Speak and be known! Um, okay. Be gone from this place now, or disaster will befall you. How about no? Alright, save, and yeah. Sorry for the weird cut right there, I had to do something really quick. Anyways, let's go into this dungeon. Yay, second dungeon of the game. Ah! Pokey! Okay, now these are a different type of Pokey. These are called, um, Mummy Pokies, or like, Pokey Mummy. Whatever, I had it. I was close. Um, they're just like normal Pokies, except now, if they hit you, they can sometimes poison you. And poison sucks. Because basically, um, every turn you're gonna lose, uh, 1 HP for a certain number of turns. And it really does suck. Which is why I really want to get the Feeling Fine badge later on, because that means we will not be able to be poisoned. And, you'll, and yes, you will want that badge. And they gave us the same amount of star pieces as no uh, pokies, which is kind of stupid. I think. Whoa! There's an item! Okay. Ah! Uh, crap, I got poisoned. So yeah, that's what happens when you get poisoned. It really does suck. Well, it can only last for a few turns, so don't worry about that. And by the way, yes, your partner can't, um, I don't really think you can be poisoned. I think your partner can be immobilized, though. That's what will happen. Immobilized sucks. Once the battle's over, you won't be poisoned anymore. It's not like Pokemon, where the stats infliction, uh, carries on even after the battle. And there is a spike shield badge. We definitely want that. It will allow us to jump on spiked enemies. It's a really good badge to get. Ooh! Spell working! Yes! Look at that. So it should, it'll double our star points, so we get 12 star points. Yay. Should I, um, equip my, the spike shield badge? I kind of want to. I don't know, but let's see. I heard Roxy. I heard my doggy Roxy. Yeah, that was my dog, sorry. She's in my room right now. Um, let's see. I kind of want to quit my uh, Quake Hammer. I think it would be really good if we did it in this chapter. There's the key. Um, but yeah. And, uh, there's, uh, th this, um, blah, blah, blah. This chapter does somewhat have some puzzles. Not a lot, though, but some. Alright, and now the sand will um, flow out of this room, which is really nice. By the way, fair warning, the next few videos, if you hear, like, background noise, um, there's a party going on downstairs, and yeah. So, yeah. Okay, let's go in this room. Now the sand is able, is gonna let us pass. Fool, you have ignored my warning, haven't you? You fool! You will fall to my legions and become a mummy of the sands. All right, I really don't care. You cannot trick me. Ooh, a buzzy beetle. Ah! Damn it. All right, well, these are like buzzy beetles. They're like Koopas, except the one difference is that um, they can get up immediately after you knock them over. Damn it. I have to jump on them twice. Okay, we've had enough of this tomb, dude. Come on, let's finish this up. Ah, there we go. And we should take him out with this turn. Thing, thing. Yeah, Cooper can't uh, hit him when they're uh, staying right side up. I think, I don't know in this game, I don't remember in this game, but in Paper Mario 2, um, there's gonna be Buzzy Beetles that are gonna have spikes on them, which is gonna suck. But there's a spike shield badge in that game too, so that's not bad. Uh, I just wanna get that coin, I'm sorry. Well, let's get Park Carry since we can't get across him without him. 
And we're actually coming up to the time limit, so we might be stopping really soon. How about whatever is in this room? After what we get what's in this room, then we're gonna stop because yeah. This dungeon is this uh, dungeon isn't gonna take that long. I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna get wrapped up by the next video. Or maybe another video after that. I believe there's a star piece in this room if I can't remember. And now that room fills up. Yeah, there's a lot of Sam flowing into one room to the other. Yeah, there is a star piece. Awesome. Well, that just about does it for Paper Mario right now, guys. So I guess I'll see you guys next time when we continue um, going through this maze. Um, yeah. It's, oh, yeah, let's get the key in here. All right, well, I guess I'll see you guys next time.